everyone it's Tia here again with B5 Designs just wanted to share another um, outgoing pocket letter this is from a Facebook group that I'm in called swap it so if you want to go check it out um, it's on Facebook and again it's called swap it this um, pocket letter the name of the swap was called bloom where you were planted um, my partner told me that she loves butterflies and roses so I kind of went with um, that kind of a theme. Um, I always think of butterflies. Um, when I think of blooming, I think of obviously butterflies and flowers. And um, planting, I always think of flowers because that's something that I enjoy doing. So here is, let's see, that light. Get rid of some of the glare there. Is an overview of the pocket letter. I use this kind of shabby chic paper that I had in my stash because um, it's got the little roses on it so I thought that was really cute and then the back side paper is just um, butterflies and of course the back is filled with goodies. I used, um, I had found in my stash this paper from, uh, it's graphic 45, it's not paper, it's stickers from Graphic 45's Botanical Tea. I have the paper somewhere too, but I didn't feel like digging it out. And what else? Um, I also used, I think I got this at Michael's. It's just a uh, paper of mason jars to cut out. And everything else is um, stuff that I had in my stash. Things from um, Michael's uh, dollar pretty bin and other spots so this first pocket has um, the butterfly and the celebrate and that's from that uh, botanical tea uh, sticker sheet and I glittered the heck out of everything with my wink of Stella I actually it was out and I filled it with water and it really works so if your wink of Stella pen runs out of water or you know runs out on you there is still a lot of glitter left in that that tube so if you take this off and I you know a lot of people know this but there's probably people that don't know then unscrew this and then there's a little black part in there you just pull that out and then just fill it with water and there's a lot of glitter left in there so um, I used that I and mean, I know you can see some of my mess in the background um, this expect great things I glittered it up I kept the green color of it and then a little flower that um, was something from the Michaels dollar 50 bin or whatever it is and this rose is a wood veneer piece um, I think like around springtime uh, Michaels came out with um, these you buy them in a pack and I don't know there's several in a pack so I glittered that up and then this is more of the wood pieces from that same packet that they expect great things came out of. I thought it looked really cute with the paper. Um, this, you can really see the glitter on the butterfly. That was a wood butterfly cutout that I had and I'm not sure um, where I got that. But um, I used a tag, the Hello Friend came from the Botanical Tea. And then I painted, um, or actually I used a pink marker on the butterfly from close to my heart. And then I put some pink halfback pearls on there. And I thought that made it cute. And then my letter is on the other side of that. And then here I just used a kind of coral, corally pinkish um, butterfly. Um, and then I had this big flower in my stash. And so I used that in there. It's kind of crunched up in there. Um, it is glittered up as well and she can take that out and use it um, and then here's another sticker from the bot botanical tea and then here is my little cut out mason jar and um, I just fussy cut it there were some parts that I didn't cut well I think all of it's there except for one little skinny leaf that was just too tiny for me to cut and then you can kind of see that I glittered that all up too so that is it guys this is my try to do a good overview bloom where you are planted themed pocket letter that's going out in the mail tomorrow 
Um, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you've seen here today, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share my channel, and um, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by again. Bye.